All right, so today we're going to look at how we name inorganic compounds. And basically, inorganic compounds are those compounds which aren't made up essentially of carbon and hydrogen um, and oxygen. And that's kind of it. So don't worry about that. There'll be more on that in a later video. But right now, we're going to look at how we name inorganic compounds. Um, so what is an ionic compound? An ionic compound is usually a salt of a solid, sorry, of a metal plus a non-metal. So what's the nomenclature? Nomenclature is a word that means naming. So how do we name it? But you need to know what nomenclature means. Of what that you need to use that word. Use the proper words. Science. All right. So the cation is written first. Remember, a cation is a uh, positive ion, and the anion is the negative ion. And so this is the metal, the non-metal. So the cation is written first. The anion, the negative metal. The negative non-metal is written second. Um, polyatomic ions um, with multiples, so as in you've got more than one of it, it is written in parentheses like this. See, this is our example down here in the green with the subscript on the outside. Do not put it here. Do not make it N2O6. You write it out there. So that ion stays together. Um, the cation with a fixed charge. So this is a, a metal which is not a transition metal, has the same, so a, a metal, a cation with a fixed charge that is the same, has the same name as the neutral atom. For example, Na plus is sodium. However, transition metals can have, not all of them, but they can have variable charge. So their variable charge is shown by Roman numerals. You can have iron two. But if you've got Fe3+, plus, it is iron 3. If you've got Cu, copper, Cu2+, plus, it is copper 2 or copper 3, so forth. Um, monatomic anions um, has the suffix "-ide". Okay, so these guys here, that's a nitrate. You have sulfates, you can also have nitrides, um, and so forth as you go down the road. But right now, let's focus on the monatomic anions. We'll get the simple ones first. They have the suffix "-ide", so chlorine becomes chloride, fluorine becomes fluoride. So here we have MgNO3 in the brackets there too. This is magnesium nitrate. Um, CaS, so calcium plus sulfur, is calcium sulfide. CaCl2, so there's two chlorines here, okay, that's what that means. It is calcium chloride, that didn't change. Copper is a transition metal. And this one would be Cu2 plus, um, and it is copper iod and plus iodine, so it's copper 2 iodide. All right, so now let's have a look, look, look at how we would name binary, which means there's two of them, covalent compounds. So what's the nomenclature there? Now, the element in the lower groups with the lower group number is written first, and this is except the exception there is when oxygen and a halogen. In that case, you write, the, you write the halogen first. So the element with the lower group number, that's the, so on our periodic tables, you know, you could, like your grid, group numbers are the ones that are going down that way, periods are the rows. Okay, so the columns. So the lowest column number, you write that first with the exception of oxygen and a halogen. In that case, you write the halogen first. Um, it is the same group. If it's in the same group, you write the highest period first. So you've got um, this one here and this one here. You would write that one there first. That is the highest period. Um, the second what the second element in the binary compound gets the suffix "-ide". So it's named as if it's an anion. Um, Greek prefixes are used to indicate the number of atoms. So mono so if you've got okay hang on, let's have a quick example here um so if we've got here um and we'll have this one as an example okay so there is no mono on the first element that's really important so if you didn't have this rule here this would look like monocarbon monoxide but we don't write mono on the first one um so this one is straight carbon that's Mr. Smedley. This one is a straight carbon monoxide. And see, there's two oxygens here, still named as an ide. 
it is carbon dioxide. So the um, the Greek pr uh, su uh, prefixes go such as this. So if you've got one atom, it's mono, two, it's di, three, tri, four, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, deca. And that's it. I hope that made a lot of sense. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below, uh, and we'll see you next time.